Well, sometimes weather spotters are the heroes that really don't get any recognition when it comes to severe storms. 41 Action News reporter Allison Bruner explains exactly what they do and how they keep all of us safe. When severe weather strikes, Volunteers like Justin Gann are gathering crucial data to keep our community safe. One of the things that we do in the Storm Spotter program is just make sure that we're available um, as, you know, if we can be, um, that we're paying attention to the weather. Uh, Spotters aren't storm chasers, they are trained volunteers that are the eyes and ears on the ground, giving reports to the National Weather Service. The earlier that we get reports into National Weather Service, the earlier they can issue the warnings, which is really what, you know, people take action on. On a severe weather day, Justin and we'll gather his spotters here in this room and he'll brief them going over several different things, including live radar. They'll also look at the National Weather Service, Storm Prediction Center, and they'll also look at the NWS Chat Center. Now, you may be wondering why the red lights. Well, Justin tells me when they're working throughout the night, it's less strain on the rise. Justin will also tell you. Hamming it up on the radio is not a lost art. We use ham radio extensively for the spotter program. Kilo Delta Zero, Whiskey November Echo, opening the EJC ECS net. Cell phones can be problematic, internet can be shoddy, but with ham radio, you know, if you've got a battery and a way to transmit, you're always going to, you know, have that backup method to, to make the report. These brave volunteers working hard to warn our community of potential dangers. In Independence, Allison Bruner reporting for 41 Action News. Justin works in Independence with the Emergency Operations Center there, and they are looking for volunteers if you're interested.